Hey everyone, Steph here from Old Guy Bounce Plastic. Um, so today I've uh, removed the Stealth Burner with Voron Tap, Clockwork 2 Extruder, and SB2209 um, BTT CAN bus board, and replaced it with a Rapid Burner, which is a tool head originally designed for Voron Zero, but it has a custom X carriage part that allows it to mount to the Voron 2's gantry, and the uh, it's paired with an EBB36 CAN bus board, uh, the Annex Engineering uh, Mini Sherpa uh, extruder, and instead of uh, Voron Tap, which I was using previously, uh, this is now using the Annex Engineering uh, Beacon or Beacon 3D Beacon Probe. Um, so I'm going to uh, put it through its paces here, um, show you a little bit of you know how the beacon probe works with this, and uh, let you know how it turns out. So here I'm about to do a home all and then a QGL, and I'll follow it up with a bed mesh. The motors are a bit loud. Um, I might be able to fine tune that a bit and that humming noise is new so I'll have to check things in my config and see what I can do about that. So that was uh, home X, Y, and Z. So let's go into a QGL now. So there we have it in a couple of passes. I've reached uh, 0 0.002698 um, tolerant range within the probe points uh, in my QGL. So that was uh, pretty, pretty quick and painless. Uh, and now I'm going to pause the video for a sec and get going with the bed mesh calibrate. I'll be right back. All right, so we're back and uh, here goes with the bed mesh calibrate. Now this is gonna be doing a 100 point by 100 point bed mesh in a single pass. And we're starting it now. All right, and the bed mesh is done. So again, that was a 100 point by 100 point, 10,000 bed mesh points um, in just about a minute, maybe a little shade over a minute. Um, I don't need to do it um, you know, that detailed, but just a matter of what's possible. Uh, the more resolution your bed mesh has, you know, the greater accuracy you can get for your first layer going down. Um, generally increasing the likelihood that a print's going to succeed. Um, and so, yeah, that's the, the default. Now, I also installed um, CAMP, which is a Clipper uh, Adaptive Mesh and Purge, um, thanks to uh, the designers of CAMP. Um, it allows the system to recognize the actual build space of the parts that are being printed, 
and only apply or only uh, you know develop the bed mesh for that build space. So um, with camp and with beacon, um, that was a full mesh of the bed across you know 90% of the area of the bed. Again with 10,000 mesh points. Um, camp will automatically kind of determine how many mesh points to use um, and what area of the bed to mesh depending on the parts that you've laid out in, in your slicer. So um, between those two, that greatly reduces the amount of time that's spent on bed meshing. Um, and yeah, so far really liking uh, the functionality of Beacon. Um, tap was good. I, I, I liked using Tap on the Stealth Burner, uh, but this is quite a bit faster, uh, particularly for the bed mesh uh, functionality. And uh, so far the accuracy is, is through the roof. So really happy with that change. Uh, now I need to put the system through its paces for some uh, print tuning and see what kind of speeds I can get out of this. I'm not looking to break any speed benchy records, but uh, I firmly believe that you know our hardware that we have in these DIY printers can be pushed a little bit further um, performance-wise without sacrificing a whole lot of print quality if you spend the time tuning your print settings. So I'm going to spend a bit of time over the next week or so, um, you know, f trying to fine-tune things and speed things up a little bit. Um, like I said, don't expect me to break any 24-7 printing speed benchy records. That's not my goal here. Um, but if I can get, you know, 95% of the print quality in 50% of the time, I think that's a worthwhile, uh, worthwhile endeavor. So thanks for watching and uh, I'll keep providing updates as I uh, move along with this uh, new build.